Well, hello, University of Birmingham. I'm John Priest, and I'm the head of the School of Chemistry. And I'm here to actually tell you about the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for 2016, which, as I hope a lot of you know, was awarded to Professor Sir Fraser Stoddart, who was a member of staff in the School of Chemistry in the 1990s. And they won it for the design and synthesis of molecular machines. So you're probably wondering why I'm holding this broom. Well, the reason is that I've made a very crude model of what Fraser made on the molecular scale and it's called a turotaxane. It's a molecular machine. And this molecular machine has three components. It has the rotor and the axle, so it's called a rotaxane, and it has two stopper groups to stop this macrocyclic component falling off. And this can move along the axle. And what Fraser was cleverly able to do was design into this axle component two molecular components which had an affinity for this blue unit. But this red unit had a much greater affinity for the blue unit than the pink unit. So all things being equal, the blue unit resided here. But he was able to do chemistry on this red unit to make the blue unit be repelled from it so it would move across to the pink unit. So it went from a one state to a zero state, a binary digit. And this was reversible, so he could go from pink to red, from red to pink. So he has a molecular machine. It's like a train moving along a railway track. So now let's go from this rather crude model to actually look at the chemistry and the molecular structure which Fraser made back in the 1990s. So here it is. It does look a little bit complicated. You can just concentrate on this middle structure where you have the turotaxane, you have the axle component, you have the cycle component and the two stoppers. And all things being equal, this cycle component remains on this station just here rather than this station here. So this was the red station and that was the pink station from the broom stick model. But what Fraser cleverly did, he designed this such that he could add acid to the system such that this station here becomes protonated. In essence, it becomes positively charged, which then repels this cycle onto the other unit. So you go from a one state to a zero state. And it's reversible, so you can go back to the one state. Alternatively, he designed it such that it could be done electrochemically, which means essentially you take an electron out of this station to make it positively charged once again, such that it repelled this cycle, so it switched from that unit to that unit. So you go from a one state to a zero state in a very reversible fashion. And this work was published in Nature in 1994, a very prestigious journal, when Fraser was here in the School of Chemistry at the University of Birmingham. And in a nutshell, encapsulates how Fraser won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 2016.